the whole industry professionals have been aware that the price of glyphosate keeps going up in recent months. Mandy, how much do you know about it? Yeah, I believe for most international players, they all pay close attention to this, and we are here to tell the reason behind this phenomenon, to reveal what is happening. As the first picture indicates, because of supply of upstream raw materials and buoyant overseas demands, the price the price of glyphosate has been increasing tremendously. Let's see how these factors affect glyphosate prices one by one. So first look at the monthly X-Works price of domestic glyphosate technical from 2020 to June 2021. In the first half of 2021, the X-Works price of domestic glyphosate technical continues to ascend. It was approximately US dollar 3,090 per ton early of this year and then soared to about US dollar 7,726 in June 2021, which was more than doubled. Factors like the increasing prices of raw materials and large market demand have been driving up the X works price of domestic glyphosate technical most likely, it will break a record high in 2021. Currently, the export price of domestic glyphosate technical is still skyrocketing. We anticipate that the annual export price in 2021 will surpass the history price in the past five years. So if we switch back to the past, apparently, the price of glyphosate was much lower. Yes, we can see an obvious upgoing price trend of glyphosate in first half of 2021. Let's find out what is pushing up the glyphosate price. The first cause is the price increase of raw material, which is one of the variants. From the table, we can see the quotation of glycine in early to mid-May grew over 3% month on month. As for the other important raw material, yellow phosphorus, though some of its producers lowered their quotation slightly in early of May, the overall price of yellow phosphorus in the market didn't show a downward trend. Instead, the price remains at a high level with a rise of over 30% year on year. Yeah, apart from raw materials, production is also one of the important factors. Since China's glyphosate technical production capacity is further concentrated, leading companies have more power to set the price. At the same time, there are some short-term and long-term factors that keep up the price of glyphosate technical. In the short term, most of the technical manufacturers after filling orders and some even have orders lined up nearly to September. It can be seen that the supply is particularly tight. Furthermore, it is worth noting that in May, due to water and electricity rationing during peak seasons in some areas, such as Sichuan province, glyphosate technical producers such as Fu Hua Tong Da and Sichuan Hebang brought down their operating rates. That in turn exacerbated the tight supply on the glyphosate technical market. In the long run, the reorganization and merger of two glyphosate giants, Nandong Jiangshan and Le Shan Fu Hua, will increase concentration in the Chinese glyphosate technical market. Therefore, glyphosate technical manufacturer will gain more pricing power, which will probably contribute to a continuous increase in the technical price. Speaking of merger, several glyphosate technical manufacturers recently have merger and acquisition to seek further development. Zhejiang Wangka, Nantong Jiangshan, and Xinfa Group have the same way of cooperating with their respective partners, in that they all have attained controlling stakes. 
On the other hand, there are some differences in the cooperation, which have a lot to do with their own priorities. Thanks, Bonnie. If we analyze from the demand side, the larger demand from overseas market for Chinese glyphosate formulation will likely push up the glyphosate TC price. Currently, the major buyers of Chinese glyphosate are the United States, South America, and Australia. The glyphosate import season for Australia in the first half of 2021 has ended, and the season in the U.S. is about to end too. The South American customers are made up of glyphosate TC buyers and formulation buyers. The glyphosate TC buyers usually finish their purchase in the first half of the year, while those who want to buy glyphosate formulation will complete their purchase in severe runs in the second half of the year. It's understood that some South American buyers are still in a wait-and-see attitude. There are reports in the industry indicating that the supply and demand balance in the glyphosate TC market in upcoming months will depend largely on purchase from the South American customers. Currently, over 50% of Chinese glyphosate products are supplied to America, with South America consuming larger quantity of the product. Therefore, CCMs believe that the demand from South America for Chinese glyphosate products will impact greatly on the X works price of Chinese glyphosate TC. Yeah, according to the data analysis, South America and North America are the two regions with the largest exports of glyphosate technical from China, accounting for about 65% of China's total export volume. In 2020, China exported 194,000 and 37 tons of glyphosate technical to South America and North America, with a yearly increase of 0.41%, accounting for about 68% of the total exports. The export volume to North America continued to decrease because the glyphosate market in North America is facing many obstacles due to some government regulations. Many countries and governments restrict the use of glyphosate mark, restrict the use of glyphosate or make strict regulations on its use, which affect the demand for glyphosate in these areas. For example, in June 2020, Mexico announced that it would gradually phase out glyphosate by 2024. Before the total ban in 2024, the use of glyphosate will be gradually reduced. In Oceania, Australia suffered continuous dry weather in 2019, resulting in a decrease in planting area of major crops and a light occurrence of grass damage. From 2020 to 2021, with more favorable weather conditions, the planting area increases, thus the demand for glyphosate goes up. Except for the above mentioning factors affecting the price of glyphosate, there is another one that is unavoidable to mention. Yeah, in the past one year, the freight of containers in China had demonstrated an uprising trend continuously. The exorbitant shipping cost and the issue of deficiency in shipping capacity has concurred some hurdles to the export of Chinese glyphosate products. Based on CCM's information, the China Containerized Freight Index is about 2,771 which had an increment of 6.95% compared to the index of 2591.41 on 25 June 2021. Meanwhile, the freight of containers in multiple routes had soared correspondingly. The price of the near ocean route had events and declining tendencies. Nonetheless, most ocean routes had the anticipation for price rising. 
Currently, numerous factors are responsible for the fluctuating of the freight rate in international containers. However, the cargo carry volume and the transportation efficiency in the port of destination is most crucial one. The descending transportation efficacy in some ports of destination was resulting in a significant increment of the cost in shipping companies. This early stage, backlog containers need to be evacuated and conveyed from ports. Superimposed shipping orders were still increasing, which result in the pressure of the destination port had to mitigate in short term. Moreover, this in fact has surged the price of international companies in recent days. Transportation cost of exporting containers in China events an ascending tendency in the past year. The supply of transportation capability was maintained in a tight situation due to the slowdown of orders in new ship manufacturing. The COVID-19 pandemic is still exceedingly severe in multiple foreign countries. The deficiency of labor for seas import and the issue of backlog containers in the seaport are now being tackled effectively. Therefore, those factors continue to put the freight rate of containers on the recorded high. Currently, the China Containerized Freight Index had doubled year on year in July 2021. All in all, China is the biggest supply and export country of glyphosate technical. The cost of raw materials, production situation, demand, and domino effect caused by the COVID-19 are overturning our knowledge about the whole industry chain of glyphosate. Staying on the real-time market dynamics, then we'll be able to stay ahead of challenges. We're wrapped up here today, but don't miss out CCM's market insight from China agrochemical industry. Please get into touch with the car managers for we are offering a big discount on any report or market report or market data related to glyphosate. Thank you very much for your participation. We'll see you next time. Bye.